Rich Deprez used to haunt Salt Lake City's Rio Grande neighborhood looking for his next fix. But six months ago, Operation Rio Grande made that much more difficult. I think it should keep going and you should double the force, really, because uh, we just drove by one of the parks and like that used to be one of the parks where you could get drugs and um, it seemed pretty clean. It, they cleaned up the area major. But not only that, like it's a threat. You know, like U Utah's targeted by not only cartels, but out-of-state out of drug dealers that want to come here and make money. And the only, your only chance of fighting that is that operation. That force needs to be down there to really get clean up the area. That's not something you expect to hear from someone who was swept up in the crackdown on drug dealing around downtown, but Deprez is getting treatment now thanks to Operation Rio Grande. He's a husband, a father of five. His wife Shannon says it's a long road ahead, both for her family and for the community at large. The problem's pretty big and, and there has been so much good that's come so far, but there's so much more work. There's so much more to be done. I mean, this isn't, this is, people are dying. It's a, it's a community health, I mean, these people are committing small crimes. You can't arrest your way out of addiction. This is, this is worth the investment. People, these people after so, they don't, they don't want to be doing this, but there's no help. Most addicts don't have insurance. It's bad. And I love Utah. I love Utah and I want to keep Utah the way that it ought to be. That's why we moved here. I moved my daughters away from the inner city and gun crime, I mean, heavy crime. And I don't want to see this. Neither do city nor state leaders. They say since the operations launch August 14th, about 70 people have entered treatment through Salt Lake County's new specialty drug court program. You've been listening to the in-depth of 15 and 45.